What's going on everybody? Waffler here. Today I'm doing something kind of cool. Um, we have crawfish here in Louisiana and it's one of my favorite foods of all time. So I'm going to show you how we do it here. And we got our mud bugs. Boom, look at these boys. Oh my goodness, brutal. But, so these are Louisiana crawfish. Um, I got 30 pounds of them right here. And uh, so right now I just filled this up with water just to get some of the dirt and the mud off. So I'm just rinsing them off. I got my pot and stuff ready. So I'm about to uh, cook the vegetables first before we start messing with these. So let's start throwing vegetables in and the pot. And you put salt on them. I did put salt on them. So that they say if you put salt on them, it makes them poo-poo. And, and you don't want to eat the poo-poo. So I'll put a little salt in there. But here they are. They're pretty funny. Look how pretty this one is. It's got a really crazy pattern. Ah. Alright, so I'm filling up my pot. And as you can see, it takes a pretty big pot. Do uh, you know how big this is? No. Oh no. Gotta looks add like, yourself a propane looks burner. Looks like 20 gallons or something like that. But uh, we're we'll probably, we're probably gonna have to, it's probably gonna take two batches to fill this up. So let's fill it up. Alrighty, so it's time to start the boil. We use this big old propane tank. Is that how you want the fire? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have it at right now. Alright. Alrighty, so I got this Zatarans crab boil. Uh, for crawfish and shrimp, I, when I smell it, whew, that smells like crawfish, but <laughs> so six gallons is how much this one thing can season up to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pour half of it. I'm probably gonna end up pouring the whole thing, but I like to taste my uh, water as it goes on and boil. When it starts boiling, make sure this flavor's like, whoo. So let's. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, whoa. Whoa, watch out now. Like you're really seasoning this thing. Alright, and now the rest of this, I'll either put it into the water or also use it you could sprinkle it on top of them if you want them extra spicy so i'm gonna let that get to a boil and then i'll start adding my veggies Alrighty, as you can see i changed the water a few times it's clean well it's not clean but it's a lot cleaner than it was got to have the clean water you know you don't want to be eating that doo-doo water oh wow Dude, what are you doing? You have a very prominent display. You are, I do not want to mess with you. <laughs> okay, are you dead? Oh, no you're not. You're really in attack mode. I'll get you on your back. All right. Since you've showed me how strong you are and you got a piece of grass on your foot, I will let you go. Off to the coolie with you. Come here, little dude. So now maybe they'll make their way and figure out how to get down there to the water hole. Well, he's actually doing it. Be free. Be free. The path is treacherous, little man. But I have faith you will get where you're going. 
there goes my hero, Roger <laughs> My dude. Okay, good news. He's alive and well, and he's making his new venture into his new habitat. Alrighty, so I got it out of rolling boil now. Oh, that's what they nice. So. I got four garlic cloves, cloves, and I got a bunch of lemons and a bunch of onions. So I'm gonna put these in for now, probably for about seven minutes or so, let them boil up. Oh, that looks good. So, that's gonna give us some really good flavor for those crawfish, because that water's bland and salty. Got to have the veggies. So I'm gonna let that boil for a little while. Oh. When are we gonna put the potatoes in? Boil in a bag. We also, for fun, are gonna throw oranges in it. I don't know what that's gonna do, but Stephanie said it wouldn't that be fun. So I was like, we'll do I it. think it might cut the spice a little, is what I'm hoping. Yeah, and be a nice tang. So we gotta cut those open and this squeeze is... the juice in it. Oh no, I'm gonna boil it like the lemons. Are you gonna, gonna slice them? them? In half. Oh yeah, we'll cut them in half. Oh, uh, but uh, this is a boil in the bag, so I just have to set that in there, and I can pull that out whenever I want to. So I'm gonna let that get up to a boil again, and then I'm gonna cut these and throw them in too. So we'll get back to you whenever I throw the mushrooms. I like that technique, destroying the juice. That's definitely going to add some flavor. Those things are juicy. Alrighty. Oh, look at the Whoa. Uh -huh. oh, you're going to save a few for your stuff? Cool. That looks like a stew. Alright, cover that up. Alrighty, so my stuff's been boiling about 20 minutes. Check it out. My garlics are looking cool. And this is how to tell when your stuff's done. The garlic, look at that mush. Ooh, it's hot. Oh man, it just falls apart. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So there's that. How to tell if the onion's done. If you could do this. The onion's done. Oh man, that's a nice little onion. So, oh yeah. I like to squeeze everything just to give it one last farewell. Put your flavors in there. Oh yeah. So anyway. Because we're gonna sift this, all of this out, right? Before yeah. we put the crawdads in. Right now. Be real careful there. Need a big strong man. You shouldn't have. Oh. Woo. I didn't get to test those potatoes, but until just a second ago when I pinched it, did you guys really pinch it? I don't think so. They're good to go. Okay. So, now I'm about to go throw these crawfish in. And if you cut an orange line around the side of your thing, that means you're doing it right, boy. All right, so now we're gonna put the crawfish in. And there's only one way to do that. Bare-handed. Oh, one got me good. Oh, another got me good. Okay, you can dump it now. Uh-oh. No, I meant dump it over the thing. Oh, no, I'm going to fill it up. I tried to. 
If I can do it all in one go, I'd rather do that. Alrighty. Got a few strays. Ooh. These are the ones that'll get you. Let's go dump them. Say good night, boys. All right, Pete. They should already be dead by now. Piece of grass in there. All right, so let's let these boil for a little while and then we're gonna have some. Alrighty, so I just, it got really quiet out here all of a sudden. Because oh, you turned the I propane off. off. I was like, why is it so silent? Um, yeah, I just turned the propane off, so let's take a peek and see what she looks whoa, like. Whoa, 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 wait. You've got something on your shirt there. What? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, continue. You're so dumb. <laughs> Um, anyway, let's check it out. Oh, oh yeah. It is overflowing. Oh yeah, oversaturated. They are bright red. Beautiful. I, I ended up throwing the uh, vegetables back in just because I wanted to make sure I got all that uh, onion juice and the garlic flavor up in there. But anywho, I'm going to let it sit for 20 minutes at least to soak up more of the juices that it's got in the pot because the longer you let it sit the more it those shells suck up the juice and that's the best part and it gets to the meat and it's just so i'm gonna let these sit for a little while and then uh we'll catch a shot of us enjoying the fruits of our labor Alrighty, so i almost did not film this because i was so hungry boom Here's we brought we, the pot into the eating room, y'all. We brought the pot in the room where we're about to watch some Netflix. We're about to watch the nail. This show's funny. So, boom. Fruits of our labor. The fruits of our labor. I want to show you. This is how I eat a crawfish. I pop that tail off, and then I'll pop off just a little piece. So this is the meat, the good part. I'll bite it. Mmm. You know it's done right when it slides right out. Trash can. And then, a lot of people don't do this, but I get a little crazier with it. People eat, people eat the claws, but I do this. I'll take the head off, and they got like the yellow stuff. And then sometimes I'll... This should be x-rated because I eat, I eat them dirty. So I'll take the brain and I'll just scoop that out. Eat that. Mm. I'll eat every little piece of juice inside of a crawfish. Mm -hmm. Oh man, and they're coming out perfect. Mm. I think we did it right. Mm. Mm -mm. And that's how you eat crawfish in Louisiana. Boiling them, getting them, eating them till they got nothing left. It's not even take this, I'll suck on the juice. <laughs> man, you know it's good whenever you can crack this claw and get the meat out. Mm. I'm getting the juice, the juice is falling, but it's falling in the pot. <laughs> Got to be careful. These are really juicy. Mm. They taste amazing. I hope that y'all get to eat crawfish one day. And if y'all can get some in y'all area, have a boil for me in my, in my memory. So I had fun. Mwah. Love y'all.